time to inflict senseless violence on a defenseless jelly baby. To learn about food as fuel. All living things are in an energy race. We have to keep getting enough food to fuel our bodies. But not quite this much. The food industry uses the word calories to describe how much energy is contained within food. But scientists prefer to use the word joules. Let's see how many joules are in this jelly baby. Our body uses food like a steam train uses coal. As we break down our food, it releases energy which our body needs to function. This is respiration and it happens in our cells. There's a great way of looking at how this works in the lab by reacting our food with potassium chlorate, a powerful oxidizing agent. Now, according to the packet, one jelly baby contains 90 kilojoules. So let's see what 90 kilojoules of energy looks like when we release it in 10 seconds. So let's give it a go. Ninety thousand joules released in 10 seconds. A reaction similar to this is going on inside our own bodies when we eat Jelly Baby. Just a lot slower and a lot less intense. The cells in our bodies release the energy from the Jelly Baby by combining it with oxygen that we breathe. This is aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration is a chemical reaction. If you've ever wondered how we calculate how many calories there is in food, then it's probably because someone somewhere has been burning it and measuring the joules of energy released. If every jelly baby has 90 kilojoules, this means there's a lot of energy in this trolley, which is a good thing. Considering we need about 11,000 kilojoules a day.